What's up, everybody? D'Angelo here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So I thought I would give you guys an update on the second property here. You guys hear that? Ah, oh, gotta love heat. So over the last couple of days, I swear I've been battling with this damn uh, furnace going back and forth, trying like everything I could think of, you know, watching all these YouTube videos. And it turned out to be just a super simple fix that only cost me 30 bucks. Well, actually only $28. So let's jump into that and I'll get into the whole thought process and all that stuff behind this for my, park, for my marketers out there wondering why the hell are we making a video talking about fixing a furnace, but I'll get into that in a second. All right, so we are in the basement right now. And first things first, make sure you turn off the power and then we can get started. So once you have the power off, all you're gonna have to do is basically take off the front cover. As you can see, you're just gonna turn these two knobs right here. So you can see this is what happens. Boom, boom, very simple. You just turn those knobs. Right, and then you're going to disconnect these two right here. So this is the air pressure uh, valve. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> All I know is just fix my problem right here that I had with three blinking lights. So you just take these two little wires off right here, and then you're going to remove this screw. That's a little difficult to do with one hand, but you guys see this screw right here all right we're going to remove this all righty and that's it that's literally the entire process so all you would do put it back on because this is my new one this is my uh um, my old one right here as you can see it's cracked in the back but all you're gonna do, again, is put that on, tighten everything back up, put these you know, um, wires back on here, and that's it. That's literally the whole process. Now to get this part, all you have to do is call the repair people and basically ask them, can you uh, buy the part instead of just having them come out? Because this saved me $180. So it'd have been a total of 220 bucks if they would've came out and then saw that. It literally took 30 seconds. That's it. This is that's it. This is the only screw you have to remove, and that is all. So once you put that back on, um, and you put that all together, you turn it on, and you should be good to go. If your house has been sitting like how my house has, this has been sitting. Uh, this new property that I just bought has been sitting here for about a year without being turned on or anything. Um, turn this right here. So I turned this like this, and then it just started kicking on, and everything was good to go. So yeah, that is pretty much it for how to fix it, at least for me, this fixed my problem. If this doesn't work for you, then you probably have something in your pipes. But I mean, there's a whole bunch of other videos that go over all the stuff that it could be. But for me, that's what the problem was. I went through and I knocked through here. I was actually about to start cutting, as you guys see right there, I actually thought about uh, going ahead and just cutting uh, the pipe in half to see if there was anything in there. I was like, no, I'm just not gonna do that. I'm gonna see if this uh, fixes the problem. And then it did. So. Vent, uh, my heater's back on, my heat's coming back on, everything's golden. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how you can fix, or at least how I fix my three little blinking light here. If you can't buy it in your area, you can go to eBay and uh, pick them up. Just type in this uh, number right here. So you can see mine is 405290. Type that in over on Google, and then it will send you to a website where you'll be able to buy it. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it on how I was able to fix my furnace problem uh, with this property. There might be one more problem. The thing that spins in the middle is spinning kind of slow. So I don't know, maybe I got some rust built up in there or something like that. So I'm gonna try to let that spin out. Hopefully that uh, clears up. If not, then I gotta buy the part for that. And that one's like 80 bucks. So instead of it costing me, again, um, would have been 210 bucks for them well technically now if i have to buy this part it's going to be probably around like 400 bucks it's only going to cost me 200 and um some dollars or whatnot so i'm still saving 180 bucks just off me doing the work instead of having them do it and it's again very simple take off a few screws put them uh put the new part on boom hook everything up the way you know that it was before and call it a day it's just that simple like so you can pay someone 180 bucks to come out and literally screw in something that's literally all they're doing is screwing in a part or you can go and do it yourself 
So that's pretty much it on how I was able to fix my three blinking light problem. Now, for all my marketers out there wondering, you know, why the hell did I make a video talking about fixing a furnace? This is the whole process that I did when it comes to making money. So when I first started making money and stuff, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Just like I had no idea how to fix the furnace. I went to YouTube. And I did research and more 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 research. See, a lot of people use all of these excuses, you know, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start and blah, blah, blah. Pick something and go from there. That's it. Pick something and just watch video after video after video after video after video after video after video. Any questions you got, you know, you just look it up. Like people kill me with that, what they can't look up, how they can make uh, look up stuff that's going to help them make money, but they can spend all day watching twerking videos, cat videos, people getting people fighting, people getting killed. Like they can do read all these posts and follow all these blogs and all this stuff, but they can't do anything when it comes to how they can make more money and stuff like that. But anyway, that's pretty much it when it comes to the marketing side. I just want to show you guys that you literally start from knowing no information and then you just... You just go from there. You just pick something and start. It only took me a couple hours to fix it. And again, saved 180 bucks, no matter even if I had to buy that new part or not. And that's money that can go back into the business. That's money that can go back into this house and all of that stuff. And I didn't even have to do too much, you know, except do a little bit of research. So always do research, guys. It will help you make more money. At least that's how I built my empire. Literally make six figures a year. Basically retired on two houses, bought my Camaro in cash and all this stuff that you guys have seen over the years. That all came from a little bit of research and a little bit of coin. And when I say a little bit, literally a little bit. It's going to cost me less. If I got to buy this part, it cost me less than I did to buy these parts than it is to start my business that started making me six figures.